In this Whiteboard Wednesday, I'm gonna share with you how to value a multi-story home on a price per square foot basis. Hi, I'm Sam from Firewave, and something we use a lot of in Ashdown Jones, our own estate agency, is uh, using a price per square foot to value homes. But a lot of questions we get, well, how do you value then a multi-story um, home? How do you value a three, four, even five story home? Because they're not all valued on the same price per square foot basis. So I'm gonna take through our formula. It's never gonna be foolproof because everybody's areas, everybody's properties are different. But in our area, it works really, really well. So this is my house. Uh, we're gonna go for a 300 pounds per square foot basis. That is too little for some of you, too much for others of you, but it's our average here in the Lake District particularly in the sort of South Lakes. And we've got here a four storey house. So we've got the ground floor and the first floor, which are the main two floors. Let's colour those in red, like that. And those you're gonna value at 100%, i.e. 300 pounds square foot. The attic, if it's head height, let's do a little picture of a man, like that. So if it's head height, 150 pounds per square foot. So it's 50% of the um, price per square foot that you would normally use. Basements, again, there's always going to be a variation if it is full head height and it has windows, it doesn't really class as a basement, but this is where the poor little man has got to bend over, look, I'm not quite sure what he's doing. Uh, it's bending over in his basement because it's not head height, and then I would go for 25%. So that would give you 300 pounds, 300 pounds, 150 pounds, 75 pounds, and that's a really, really good rule of thumb. So the variations are, if you can't stand up in the attic, so it's a, a, a you know poorly converted attic or an attic with a pull down ladder, I would probably make that 25% instead of 50%. And again, if it's a full height basement where your little man is standing all the way up and you've maybe got a couple of lights, a couple of uh, windows, then I would go for 50% there. But I think overall the premise is good. That you've got two floors at 100% and then you're going to reduce your 100% to whatever you think is the usability of the attic space and the basement space. If you've got three main floors instead of two main floors, I would add the third floor in at the attic level and not at the um, this 300 pound square foot level. I think you need to go 300, 300, 150, and if you have an attic as well, you'd probably go 75 for that. Anyway, hopefully that helps. What we do at Firewave, and amongst all the other amazing things we do for our members, is we teach you stuff like this, because this is what people really need to know in the real world when they're off valuing difficult to value homes. So if you go to fire-wave.co.uk forward slash start, you'll be able to enter your details and find out if your area is available because we only take one member per area. So we only work on an exclusive area basis. And if you don't do it now, your competitor might already be typing in faster than you. So go and add your details in. There's no obligation at all to join us, but just find out if your area is available. And if it is, we'd love to welcome you as part of the Firewave team. We'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.